Hi, I'm Daniel Paul. I'm here with Catherine Hall, the Chief Executive of Alzheimer's New Zealand. Um, we're talking about the Dementia Action Plan, and this is the second in our series of videos about the plan. So, Catherine, perhaps uh, we can go back to talking about why the plan is so important. What do you hope to achieve uh, with this very important document? Absolutely. And it's also based on the best evidence of what works around the country, uh, sorry, around the world. Um, and so there has been a lot of evidence um, produced in recent years about the things that make a difference. Uh, and so the, um, uh, the plan draws on that um, and uses that to um, chart a course for the future. So just very quickly, before we talk about what you hope to achieve with the plan, just tell us um, a little bit about why it's so important. I mean, what, what are current services like? What, what are people with dementia experiencing now? Well, look, there are major gaps in services around the country. And to be honest, they're all provided a bit differently in every um, DHB, so you can get one thing in one place and not in another. Uh, there are also large parts of the country where only a very small proportion of people who are living with dementia have a diagnosis and therefore can access services. And the services that are available are often not the ones that people need and the ones that are going to make the biggest difference for their lives. And um, there isn't enough services even for people now. So, you know, we're facing this big increase in numbers uh, and we don't have the services in place to respond to those. Okay. What's the goal with the plan? What do you actually hope to achieve? Well, the most important thing is that we, we need to get government support and commitment to the plan. Um, because, you know, we all know that without a plan, nothing is going to change. But in the health sector, without government support and commitment from DHBs, nothing is going to change. So that's our, that's our first priority. If there's one takeout, one message to government, to the Minister, what would it be? The time to act is now. The situation is only going to get um, more critical. The, um, the, the situation for people living with um, dementia is only going to worsen uh, if we don't act, and we need to act now. Just very quickly before we wrap up, I understand that there are sort of several key priorities in the plan. You want to take us through those at a very high level? Yes, so there are four areas of activity. Um, so the first is about reducing the incidence of dementia. There's great evidence that uh, we can make a difference to reduce the numbers at a population level. But of course we need to take action to do that. Uh, the second area is about supporting people who are living um, with dementia. So more services, better services and more readily available in the community. The third area is about um, more accepting and inclusive or dementia friendly communities um, so we can all live safely and well. And the last area is about building the leadership and capability in the sector. Uh, thank you Catherine, thanks very much. Uh, that was Catherine Hall, the, uh, the Chief Executive of Alzheimer's New Zealand. Um, in our next video, Catherine's going to talk about the uh, problems uh, in the dementia sector that the plan is designed to address. So uh, keep an eye out for that video, watch this space.